All right, this is grade three, module five, lesson 29, where students are gonna continue comparing fractions with the same numerator, and we're gonna be still using models, so we're still not using an, an official algorithm, but that's because we want students to use logic about, to think about what those fractions mean. And then instead of using the words greater than, less than, or equal, we're actually gonna use the mathematical symbol. So let's get started. So here, we're first supposed to label each shaded fraction. So the first thing we need to do is begin by counting all of the pieces, because that will be our denominator. So we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So this has 12 pieces total, and five of them are shaded in. So that's 5 twelfths. And then in the same kind of way, we're going to count over here. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we have six pieces. And one, two, three, four, five of them are shaded in. So that's five sixths. Now, which is bigger, five sixths or five twelfths? Well, clearly, five sixths is more shaded in. You can see that five sixths is way more shaded in than five twelfths because these are the same size whole numbers. So this is one whole, kind of even looks like a one. And this is a one, one whole thing, and five-sixths is more shaded in than five-twelfths. Now, the way we say this is we say five-twelfths is less than five-sixths. And so some, some students think of this as it kind of looks like an L. You know, if you think about what an L looks like, it kind of looks like an L. Um, another way is I see that, okay, on this thing, this is the small side, and this is the small side, and this is the big side. So 5 twelfths is smaller than 5 six. So this t shape gives you a sense that 5 twelfths is smaller than 5 sixths. All right, so this one is 2 fourths. And then what is this? One, two, three, one, two, three. So three times three is nine. So there's nine pieces all together. And two of them are shaded in, so two ninths. And which one is greater or which one's less? And it is this guy is greater. So two fourths is greater than two ninths. And once again, the way I think of how to remember this is that this is bigger than this. So if we think about it, this is taller than this little piece right here. So this is taller, this is smaller. So you can say two-fourths is bigger than two-ninths. All right, two-fourths is bigger than two-ninths, or is greater than two-ninths. All right, so this is says to partition each number line into the units labeled on the left and then use those number lines to compare our fractions. So we're going to begin by cutting this into thirds. So that's going to be roughly, boom, thirds, because you're supposed to cut it into three equal parts. Now here is sixths. So I'm going to start by cutting it in half, and then cutting each of the halves into three parts. So that's a nice, easy way to cut this into six equal pieces. And then lastly, ninths. Ninths is kind of a tricky one to cut. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to begin by cutting it into three equal pieces. One, two, three. One, two, three. So that's basically our three pieces. And then I'm going to cut each of these, each of these thirds, I'm going to cut into three pieces. So that's going to be one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. And so there's our thirds, our sixths, and our ninths. And now we're going to answer these questions. Well, two sixths versus two thirds. Well, here's two sixths right here. One sixth, two sixth. And then here's two thirds. So we can see that two sixths is smaller than two thirds. So it's going to look like that. Five ninths, five sixths. So here's our ninths, and here's zero ninths, and then there's one ninth, two ninths, three ninths, four ninths, five ninths. So right here is five ninths, 
and then 5 sixths, there's 0, 1 sixth, 2 sixths, 3 sixths, 4 sixths, 5 sixths, so there, right here, is 5 sixths, and we can see that 5 sixths is much bigger than 5 ninths, so 5 ninths is less than 5 sixths, and then lastly, 3 thirds compared to 3 ninths, well, we can use logic here, 3 thirds versus 3 ninths. 3 thirds is one whole, and 3 ninths is less than a whole. That's one way to use logic. Or we could just go up here and look, and then here's 0 thirds, 1 third, 2 thirds, 3 thirds. So there's 3 thirds, and 3 ninths, 0 ninths, 1 ninth, 2 ninths, 3 ninths. So there's 3 ninths. So we can see that 3 ninths is way less than 3 thirds. So it would look like this. 3 thirds. Oops. Nope. That's wrong. It would. That's backwards. 3 thirds is greater than 3 ninths. 3 thirds is greater than 3 ninths. Now students get to draw their own models. They can use brownies, they can use tape diagrams, they can use number lines to compare their fractions. The one thing we don't necessarily need them doing is using some sort of formal algorithm. Although parents and teachers at this point, if students are starting to see some sort of logical explanation for why one fraction is bigger or smaller than another, boy, let them practice um, rehearsing their explanation for the logic that they're coming up with. Uh, for me, I think I'm going to stick with a couple of tape diagrams. I'm going to draw two identical tape diagrams. This first one I'm going to cut into tenths. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then I'm going to cut it into eighths. And then seven tenths. Oh my goodness. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, there's seven tenths, and then seven eighths, one eighth, two eighths, three eighths, four eighths, five eighths, six eighths, seven eighths. So we can see that seven eighths is bigger than seven tenths. All right, so seven tenths is less than seven eighths. And then in the same kind of way, let's go over here and Oh, let's do tape diagrams again. Let's do two identical tape diagrams, the best we can draw. And this first one I'm going to cut into sixths. And this next one I'm going to cut into ninths. And for four sixths, I'm going to shade in one sixth, two sixths. 3 sixths, 4 sixths, and for 4 ninths, I'm going to shade in 1 ninth, 2 ninths, 3 ninths, and 4 ninths, and boy, we can definitely see that 4 sixths is bigger than 4 ninths, so it's going to look like this. Now, parents and teachers, students are going to begin at this point to start recognizing that, oh, if the denominator is big, the pieces are going to be small, and if the, the denominator is small, then the pieces are going to be bigger. So like here, sixths are bigger than ninths. So if you have four sixths versus four ninths, four sixths is going to be bigger. Over here, tenths are smaller than eighths because you have to cut it up into more pieces. So you can have seven small pieces, right here, seven small pieces, seven tenths, or you can have seven big pieces, seven eighths. And so this is where students are going to start coming up with this kind of a logic. And that is wrapping up, let's see, module, grade three, module five, lesson 29 where students are comparing fractions with the same numerator and they're using the less than, greater than, or equal symbols and then kind of looks like an eyeball. <laughs>